As a, we see ourselves as a social enterprise in South Africa. Um, we used to be part of the Shutsworth Foundation as a as a project, and then two years ago spun out as a um, a company. And what we we have kind of two parts to the company. We have um, the side which I'm more involved in, which is um, textbook production, and we um, are predominantly maths and science focused. Although we are going to be branching out into other subjects and. We work at school school level um, and mostly high school, but now we're also doing um, primary school science and maths. And then um, the other side of Siabula, we also do an online um, practice service called Intelligent Practice, which has um, machine learning built into it and is um, linked to the curriculum where learners can come and um, practice their maths and science, get feedback um, and find out where their weaknesses are. We also have... Um, a tool for teachers to use in order to monitor the, the whole class as a whole and see who's battling, for example. And this is a, a subscription base which we um, like to sell to schools as a service. Yeah, Siobhan has quite an interesting um, history. So we, it was actually, um, has its origins in a project called the Free High School Science Text, which was started by Mark Horner, our um, CEO, back when he was a graduate student at the University of Cape Town. And him and a bunch of his, um, his friends, colleagues in the physics department got together to write a set of openly licensed maths and science um, high school textbooks for grade 10 to 12. Um, and they put these together over the course of about five years and the project grew and grew and um, lots of people around the world got involved, um, volunteers, it was um, more mostly collaborative authoring done online and um, yeah and it really, um, they learned a lot in the process and then um, as a result of that Mark then entered the Shutsworth Foundation. Um, as the project lead for um, Siavula, which was at that stage aiming to make open educational resources available um, for all subjects and all grades in South Africa. And they um, bought in a set of um, workbooks for grade R to 9, plus the existing um, free high school science texts, and put these on um, connections. and. Um, ran a lot of workshops to train teachers and how to use connections and um, make their own versions of the resources. And Mark, so Mark had a, a fellowship with the Shuttleworth Foundation. And then when his fellowship came to an end, they decided to um, try and um, make a sustainable company out of um, the project Sierra Villa. So the Shuttleworth Foundation then became a, an, um, a shareholder within the company and we have an investor. And yeah, so this was happened in 2012, um, uh, February 2012, when Sevilla Education um, was started. And yeah, and so since then, we now, um, yeah, we now are a, a company based looking at open educational resources, um, drawing on the strengths of the community that we've started to build around our textbooks, and also harnessing all the um, technological tools that we can to do this. We're the only people doing anything in the, the K-12 sector. There's no one else doing any open educational resources um, for school school subjects. Um, but then several of the universities have their own um, sort of OER initiatives, um, such as the University of Cape Town. They have um, quite a big program where they, um, which is called Open UCT, and they um, encourage a lot of their, their professors um, in the same way as um, the the states or the UK does to to use open textbooks to also share their resources, make them available, um, and they also they also do um, a lot of research with within UCT, um, and then yeah, several other universities um, such as Wits and Johannesburg also has an OER program, um, and yeah, so there's definitely um, a lot in higher ed. Um, I think probably not not as widely known or um, as as advanced for example as in the states but um, it's definitely definitely growing and but yeah as I said there's no one doing anything else within um, the school 
school level at the moment and um, for me that's that's I guess maybe because it's what I'm involved in but I believe in it but I think that's also where it has the biggest potential and 